Every year, thousands of people come to the Great Lakes to work and play. The lakes span more than 1,000 kilometers, but they're being threatened by something as small as a nickel. The quagga mussel is an invasive species that can filter more than a liter of water a day, stripping the lakes of nutrients and clarifying the water. Clear water lets sunlight penetrate deeper and can trigger an explosion of algae that damages the habitat of native fish. University of Waterloo researchers are keeping an eye on these mussels and the Great Lakes' other unwanted guests. Using mathematical models, they're predicting the impact of these intruders. They've discovered how Asian carp, which can produce thousands of young a year, are finding mates in a relatively small population. And they're monitoring the lake's newest invader, the bloody red shrimp. This nocturnal species hides during the day and feasts at night, depriving native fish of food. Waterloo biologists are also examining invasive species on shore, like five meter tall reeds that swallow shorelines and marshes, destroying resting places for migratory birds. What's in the Great Lakes future? Will we see bass and trout disappear? Beaches choked with reeds? Wetlands without ducks or songbirds? Not if we can help it. Our research is helping us understand these invaders better and create ways to contain them. One day, we may even be able to turn them into assets, like the zebra mussels that inspired one of our engineers to develop a new medical superglue. Until then, Waterloo continues the battle to keep the Great Lakes healthy for everyone and everything that depends on them.